Sven, it's so nice to see you here and uh, how you are enjoying now when you are not competing yourself. <laughs> I enjoy it very much to be in the World Cup Circus and uh, even when I work for television I feel that I met, met some friends like Rico here and like the other guys so that's why I'm very happy to be part of the family. How it's uh, different from when you, uh, when you were competing? Is it easier to be as a TV expert or is it harder as an athlete? I, it don't hurt when you are as, as a reporter, uh, even when I'm go and ski and test all the tracks and uh, but as an athlete it's for mentally it's you are very focused for competition and you fight and it hurts in the body so that's a big difference but to be in the, in the circus like here it's 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 nice and I enjoy it. What can you tell about Andres? One point is that the pressure in the past was too much that he should have the victory but uh, he is still competing so it's possible for the future so and uh, what I see on him is he's very fast in the track also. That's very important for the for the for a good biathlete. And he gets in the shooting performance better and better. And uh, I feel also that I look to him and hope that he gets better and better because my old coach, my Klaus Siebert, he had also teach him and help him. So uh, that's why I said also prize on this and uh, can appreciate this because there was a good relationship and uh, it was my my good coach so i remember him very good and um, andre have had also good contact with him so that's why i look at him and um, he get better and better and the one th big thing is you have to believe it you have to believe it as an athlete so you see okay i'm fast in the track sometimes i'm very good in shooting but it's not that it comes together and this you have to look for. I believe that I can put everything together, even on the World Championships, and then it's possible. The, uh, the, the older athletes which had success, so that it's possible. And uh, Ulaina Bjorndal, I remember him, he was 40 and uh, he got a success. So that's, it's not that it's, it's only the age and um, yeah. I Philip Navrat, um, now he is in the yellow bib, it's, he's th turned 30. So. It's not only the age, it's uh, he get also some experience and then he get better and better. So this is possible for the future and uh, that's why keep going, hope for it. Hard training, good training, the good good team also that uh, you get feel in the team very well and you feel that everyone are in, in his position, give the best and then it's possible. Andres has worked with uh, many uh, shooting coaches, many uh, mental coaches. Do you think he already put a lot of pressure on himself that he's trying to find a way? I think that uh, each athlete are special and uh, a lot of coaches want to help. But in the end you have to find your own way. This is, this is the truth. And it's not that, that there comes one guard and say, okay, you, I'm a guardian coach and you must do this and then you get the success. It's not possible. It's, uh, I think it's that the, the athlete has to take everything positive and good things out and then he make it. And uh, when you see on the shooting range or on the, on the track, they have a different kind of technique, but uh, to win, it's the right one. So sometimes it's not so nice to go and ski, but it's fast. And someone who's shooting a little bit different and he clear shooting, then it's right, you know, to find your own way, even if it's not like a model, that's important. So a lot of coaches, maybe each one have some special, take the positive thing out like a puzzle and take the good things together and then makes a good picture.